Hello, my name's Richard Holland and I'm the course coordinator of the Zoology with Animal Behaviour degree here at Bangor University, which is one of our family of zoology degrees. Uh, Bangor Zoology has quite a rare, if not unique, focus in the UK in that we do a lot of whole organism zoology. So our research is focused at the individual or the population or even the ecosystem level rather than on molecular processes, which is more often than not the case in a lot of other universities. And we have a number of staff with a diversity of interests, particularly in animal behaviour here at Bangor. And these are the people who will be your tutors, who will be your lecturers, and who will supervise research projects that you do. So as an example, I work on animal navigation. I work on subjects like how migratory birds are able to find their way across continents every year but also on research in spatial memory in fish. So understanding how fish are able to learn about and remember locations in space. And alongside this, Graham Shannon, another of our lecturers, he works on elephant and deer movement. Uh, Catherine Jones works on personality and also on the behavior of animals in zoos with a focus on welfare of zoo animals. And Alex Georgiev is a primatologist who works on um, the interface between behaviour and conservation. And he's particularly interested in understanding how tourism affects behaviour in primates. And he has a field site out in Zanzibar where often students go out to help him with his research. The zoology degrees at Bangor are all based around a common structure, but each of the distinct degrees has a separate focus that makes it different from all the others in terms of the optional modules and the compulsory modules that you can choose. In the case of the Zoology with Animal Behaviour degree, in the first year the Tutorials module is the one that will stand out because as a Zoology with Animal Behaviour student you'll be assigned to a tutor with an interest in animal behaviour and so the essays that you're set and the presentations you're asked to, to give in that module will have a focus on animal behaviour. Moving into the second year, the compulsory module for zoology with animal behaviour students is behavioural ecology, which is about understanding the evolution and function of animal behaviour. Also in the second year is where the optional field course module is taken and a lot of the field courses are quite popular with animal behaviour students. For example, the Spain field course is one that is usually quite well populated with zoology with animal behaviour students. But also the Uganda field course, which has a focus on primatology, is um, of interest to animal behaviour students. But also we have field courses in Florida, in Arizona and India, as well as local field courses here around Bangor, taking advantage of the beautiful scenery and the biodiversity in the Snowden Mountain range. Moving into the third year, the, the Zoology with Animal Behaviour degree has two distinct compulsory modules. The core module, which is the module that is only available to Zoology with Animal Behaviour students, is Animal Ethics and Welfare. And alongside this, an, another compulsory module for Animal Behaviour students is Advances in Behaviour. This is a module that I coordinate and this module will teach you how to design a research project on animal behaviour and to sell your idea um, to a funding body. The um, other compulsory activity in the third year is the dissertation and the diversity of research staff and research interests that we have in animal behaviour means that there are a lot of options for research projects Bangor is also quite rare, if not unique now in the UK, in having still maintained animal housing facilities. Our aquarium in the basement of one of our buildings is um, used by myself and others uh, for research, and we offer research projects on that. And also out at Traborth, we have a pigeon loft, and I've offered projects to students working on homing pigeon behavior, in terms of their ability to find their way back to their loft. We also have a farm out at Henweis and recently we've acquired some alpacas. So a new module that's coming into third year animal management is making use of those. 
We also have very good access uh, to the local zoos, both the Welsh Mountain Zoo in Colwyn Bay, but also Chester Zoo. And Catherine Jones often offers projects to undergraduate students on that. So there's really a diversity of opportunities for you to do um, research on animal behaviour during your time here and to get experience that will hold you in good stead if you're looking for jobs in your chosen field of study. So I I hope you'll consider zoology with animal behaviour as, as your choice and I hope to be able to welcome you here in the next academic year and thank you very much. Goodbye.